beautiful people and welcome to my channel i'm super excited to have you here and guys in today's video i will take you through a to e assessment of a dying patient now keep an eye tomorrow i'll be posting a video on a to e assessment of an end of life patient so keep an eye on them before we dive directly into this video i am so excited i got around 15 emails yesterday nos v thanks for your help i passed my husky so i'm so grateful to god for you all who have passed your husky exam i'm so proud of you mr olani you welcome to your band five rule well done I'm super super proud of you Olaju Moke. She made me tearful yesterday when she called me to tell me she's passed her husky exam. I'm so 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 proud of you. I'm super proud of you Bridget. Guys I didn't take down the name so if I don't remember pardon me. I'm just having too many things on my brain now. So um, the rest I can't remember. I didn't have time to you know write all the people who sent me email. but if you are writing soon you are definitely passing all right so do me a favor share this video with everybody you know preparing for all ski exam because a lot of people are like oh nos v i didn't know this i so just share it a, a win for one is a win for all okay so share it with any group here you know they are preparing for all ski exam because you are helping them you understand so please share the video all right so guys if you are not a channel member you might just be missing because um there's a to e assessment of dying patients i'm posting it today then tomorrow i'll be posting care plan for dying patients on the channel member group i'll be posting evaluation of dying patients care plan for end of life patients and evaluation for end of life patients i've done all the clips that's why i'm a bit exhausted i can't post all today because i really have to edit them so i'll post this one today so if you are not yet a channel member you will be missing because i'm going to be posting some other videos for channel members tomorrow not today all right so guys without wasting any of your time at all let's get to our topic for today a to e assessment of a dying patient so do well to like this video do well to share this video and of course don't forget to subscribe thank you Ryan Little. <laughs> I approach my scene. I see my scene is safe to approach. I provide privacy. So you not really join any curtain, but you verbalize it. Now I will do my hand hygiene according to World Health Organization. On your exam day, you can choose to do your hand hygiene with water or you can choose gel. Me, I prefer gel. So I do my hand hygiene according to World Health Organization. It's palm to palm. Right hand over left dorsal, vice versa, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingers interlocked, rotation of the thumb, rotation of the thumb, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and the wrist, my hands are clean. Now, the next thing I would advise you to do is to read your scenario. A lot of us just go straight to the patient without reading our scenario. Read your scenario so that you know exactly what they want you to do. There are a lot of assessments. There's assessment of homelessness, assessment of a topic. So you have to read to know what you are doing. There's community assessment, there's hospital assessment. So I want to read my scenario. So when you are reading your scenario, you are focusing on the presenting complaint. So I'll read out the presenting complaint for you. Mrs. Haley is a widow whose husband died eight years ago. Um, she is now diagnosed with end stage colon cancer. She's breathless with severe chest pain. Ellie's only child lives abroad. Ellie is so worried about seeing her only child before she dies. So looking at the scenario already, I know they say patient is worried also about dying. So looking at this scenario, I know I'm dealing with a dying patient. So what do I need to do? I know exactly I'm dealing with a dying patient. I know patients have severe chest pain, back pain. Now I'm happy to proceed to my patient. Hello. Hello. My name is Violet. I'm one of the nurses looking after you today. Please, can you tell me your full name and date of birth while I double check with your wristband, please? My name is Ellie Brooks. Okay. And my date of birth is 15 February 
1914. And I have here hospital number 100010. Assessor, with the paperwork I have on my hand, I have the right patient. So, guys, imagine that is bad. All right. Mrs. Haley, please, do you have any allergies at all to food, lattes, adhesive, any allergies at all? I'm not allergic to anything. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So, I'm happy you don't have any allergies. So, Mrs. Haley, I'm here this morning to carry out an assessment on you. Is this a convenient time, please? It's fine. All right, beautiful. So, I'll leave you with your call bay. If you need anything, please use your call bay. I just want to assemble all my equipment. All right, thank you. Nurse. All right, beautiful. So, guys, again, I will do my second hand hygiene. There has been an update. I'll say to you, wearing of apron and glove in your assessment is now optional meaning is absolutely your choice so me in today's video i'm not going to wear apron and glove if you choose to wear an assessment in your oski exam it's also fine so i'll do my hand hygiene again palm to palm right palm over left dozen vice versa fingers interlace fingers interlock fingers interlock rotation of the thumb rotation of the thumb tips to the finger tips to the finger and the wrist so my hands are clean so i would now Go back to my patient. Assessor, please, can you confirm all my equipment is clean and ready for use? Assessor will say, that's correct. Please proceed to your patient. So, Mrs. Ailey, I'm back. Please, which of the hands do you prefer? I prefer my left. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Please, have you ever had surgery on this hand? No. Oh, beautiful. Because I can see this hand. There is no redness. There's no swelling. There's no infection. I'm happy to use this hand. So, I'm going to tie my cough. Yes, thank you so much. I'm going to tie my core, covering 80% of the upper arm or 2 to 3 centimeters away from the cubital fossa. So use one of them. Beautiful. So I've tied my core. Now I would not own my machine. Mrs. Ellie, please, can I see your knee beds? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I can see your knee beds. There are no false knees. The knees are all right. There are no infection. I will do a capillary refill. The capillary refill is less than two seconds and I'll put my probe on this hand. So if you tie the curve on the hand, you use the other hand for the probe. Now, I'm happy to own my machine. So now, Mrs. Ailey, while I own this machine, you'll feel some tightness, okay? But it's just for a while. All right, thank you. Beautiful. So I will allow the machine to read. So why the machine is making the sound? It means it's working. I'll pick up my news charts. On your exam day, patient's name, date of birth, and date of admission is already there. You get. So I'll just pick up my news chart and I'll write my date and my time. So my date is today. So and today is what? 15th slash 11th. I'll write my time. I was given time as 10 o'clock. Now... I've written my date and my time. I'll wait for the blood pressure machine to read and I'll wait for the SPO2 to read. So it's red, it's 115 over 73. So I will chat 115 blood pressure, 115 over 73. Guys, remember how I always teach you. When you chat 115 over 73, look three times. You don't want to make a mistake in your news chat. A lot of failures in assessments comes from the news chart. So I've charted, I look again, I, I see it's correct. Now, my SPO2 has also read, and I have SPO2 to be what? To be 95. So I'll put a dot on 95, scale 1. I will look a second time. I will look a third time that that dot is exactly at 95. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ailey. I'm just going to take this out. Thank you so much. Mrs. Ailey, I'm not going to be counting your pause for complete two minutes. Is that okay? Katie, what's that? Pause it, please. Okay. I'm not going to count your pause for two minutes, Mrs. Ailey. Is that okay? It's fine. All right. So, guys, count your pause and your respiration for two minutes. If you count it below two minutes, trust me, you just might fail because you're supposed to count for complete two minutes. All right. So... I'll pick up the hand. I'll start feeling the pulse. All right. Assessor, my time starts now. Okay, so I'll tell you. Okay. Okay.
All right, so guys, because I don't want to bore you too much, counting for two minutes. Now, if you look properly, my patient was breathing very high. So, Mrs. Ellie, thank you very much. I'm just going to chat your pulse, if that's okay, all right? Yeah. All right, so Mrs. Ellie, can I see your forehead, please? I can see your forehead, no redness, no infection. I take my temperature on the forehead. Patient temperature is 37 degree. I'll try 37 degree. I'll look a second time. Look at all time. My patient is alert. And my assessor has not told me patient is on oxygen. So I know my patient is on air. Now I'm going to total my new score. Now, guys, I am done. So make sure you look at your news chart three times before you conclude. And after getting your news total, turn to the back of your news chart so that you can know how often to monitor the patient and escalation of care. So, Mrs. Haley, I'm done with your observation, but I'm really sorry. When I was counting your pulse, I didn't tell you. I also counted your respiration. And that's because I didn't want you to be, you know, agitated when I was doing it. So I'm sorry. Is that okay? It's fine. All right. Thank you. So, Mrs. Haley, you have a news total of two. So for a news of two, I'm going to monitor you every four to six hourly and I'll be escalating your care to the doctors. Is this okay? It's fine. All right, beautiful. So Mrs. Ailey, I'm going to go through your A to E assessment with you. So because both of us have been talking, I can see that we have been talking okay. So I can confirm that your airway is patent. Can you please cough for me? <laughs> All right, beautiful. So I can confirm that your airway is patent and I'm happy with that. Now for your breathing, I did your respiration for one minute. I noticed your respiration is high. You are scoring a two for your respiration, okay? And so this means there is stridor, there is coughing, there is wheezing, there is use of accessory muscles, there is seesaw breathing, there is virtual sign of respiratory distress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escalate that to the doctors and we'll continue monitoring you for our hourly, all right? I did your saturation. Your saturation is normal. You are scoring 96. It is within the normal range and I'm happy with that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I move over to circulation. For your circulation, I checked your blood pressure and on my news chart, for your blood pressure, you had 113 over 70. So, you are not scoring at all for your blood pressure. Your blood pressure is okay and I'm happy with that, okay? So, when I also checked your pulse, your pulse is 90 beats per minute. It is within the normal range and I'm also happy with that, okay? Now, for your capillary refill, you are properly perfused and there is no cyanosis. So, Mrs. Ailey, I'll move over to disability. Mrs. Ailey, can I ask you, please, do you know where you are at the moment? Yes, I'm in the hospital. Beautiful. I'm happy you know you are in the hospital. Beautiful. Now, Mrs. Ellie, are you having any pain? Because when I read your scenario here, I see you are having chest pain, back pain. Are you having that? Is the pain still on? Yeah, oh, bless you. Like oh, bless you. I'm so sorry to hear that. If I ask you to score your pain, where zero is the least pain and 10 is the highest pain, what would you score your pain, please? I'll score it a bit. Ooh, that's really high. Can you take a deep breathing breath for me, please? Beautiful. So, as I saw, in a real clinical scenario, I'm supposed to stop and get a medication for my patient and escalate. As I saw, are you happy for me to continue? Or, Mrs. Ella, are you happy for us to continue? Then, when I'm done, I get you something for the pain. Is that okay? It's fine. Beautiful. Well done, Mrs. Ella. So, are you passing good amounts of urine? I'm not really sure now. I know I'm. Um... Ever since I came into the hospital, yes. I've not been eating and drinking. Much. Oh, you've not been eating and drinking well. That's fine, Mrs. Ailey. What I'm going to do, I will escalate that to the dietitian and um, we encourage you to be taking bit by bit, warm water, if that's okay, bit by bit, anything you like to eat, but take it in small amounts, okay? But your urine, are you passing good amount of urine or is reduced? It's reduced. Oh, beautiful. Bless you, Mrs. Ely. We are here to support you. We are here to help you. I always can leave that to the doctors, okay? And um, I think I'll open a food chart for you and we'll be checking how you eat and we'll see how we go about that, okay? Thank now, Mrs. Ely, has anybody checked your blood sugar today at all? Yes, I 
Mm, no much. Oh, beautiful. Assessor, please, can you confirm my patient blood sugar for me? Then maybe your assessor says something like 5.2. Okay, so Mrs. Haley, um, the blood sugar is 5.2. The normal blood sugar is supposed to be 4.0 to 8.0, but you are having 5.2, so that's okay. That's within the normal range. Now, Mrs. Haley, I move over to exposure. For your exposure, when I did your temperature, I can see my news chart here. Your temperature is within the normal range, and I'm happy with that. Do you have any rash, any swelling, any bruises in any part of your body? Mm. Beautiful, I'm happy with that. So, Mrs. Sally, on your scenario here, so guys, always look at your news chat when you are talking so that you are sure of what you are saying. So, on my scenario here, Mrs. Sally, I can see you have a past medical history of arthritis diabetes ccf mrs Ailey, do you comply with your medications i do oh bless you so i will encourage you even if you do to just keep you know the importance of when we take our medications we get better on time so well done on taking your medication and please keep taking it mrs Ailey, another question i would love to ask you from what i can see here i can see here that the doctors have discussed with you and that you are dying is there anything you want me to do do you want me to invite your spiritual leaders any of your spiritual leaders to come have a word of prayer with you anything at all for quite a long time now and i've not seen my only child she's oh, abroad beautiful. i don't know if there is a way you can contact her to come and okay. see me before i die because i feel i don't really have much days and months again to live she can come in before i pass though Bless you. Fun. Bless you, Mrs. Ailey. So, Mrs. Ailey, I'm going to escalate that promptly and we'll do our best to make sure you see your only child and uh, we'll check your details and we'll try to reach out. Would that be okay, please? It's fine. Beautiful. Thank you, Thank you so it. much. That's beautiful. We're going to get that done. Do you have any other concerns for me, please? No, no that's the only concern. All right, Mrs. Ailey. And are you comfortable the way you are? Yeah. all right beautiful um that's the end of my assessment and of course if you have more time you go through your news chat but that is the end of the assessment so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've learned one or two things